Unlocking the Secrets of History Scientists have just made an astonishing breakthrough, opening the sealed Ark of the Covenant that has baffled humanity for millennia. Join us as we reveal the incredible discoveries from a small cave that may finally solve the mystery of this ancient relic. Stay tuned for a journey through the ages, exploring the historical background, significance and long-debated hypotheses surrounding the Ark. For ages, people, particularly Christians, have been fascinated and intrigued by the Ark of the Covenant, a relic of great religious significance. Although it has a significant impact on religious history, its exact position is still unknown, confusing specialists, historians, and archaeologists in equal measure. All excitement, however, may now be cleared up regarding this mysterious relic that has been hidden for millennia, thanks to recent discoveries made in a small cave. We will examine the historical background, the significance of the Ark of the Covenant, and the several hypotheses regarding its location in this video. According to Christian and Jewish history, the Ark of the Covenant is a fabled box made of wood with a gold overlay. It is believed to contain the two stone tablets that Moses received from God on Mount Sinai, which are written with the Ten Commandments. Aaron's rod, which is said to have famously bloomed to symbolize God's selection of Aaron as the high priest, and the pot of manna, the miraculous food given to the Israelites throughout their wilderness trip, are also thought to be in the Ark. This revered relic represented God's authority and presence among His people, in addition to acting as a container for them. Ancient people saw the Ark as a physical representation of God's presence, rather than just a container. It was regarded as a channel of direct communication, since God was said to communicate through the two cherubim, the winged figures that decorated the mercy seat, the lid of the Ark. The Israelites took the Ark into war with them, and it was frequently linked to their victories over their enemies, including the walls of Jericho being destroyed and the Jordan River miraculously splitting. Reinforcing the obligation of God's people to follow the Ten Commandments, the Ark of the Covenant represented the covenant between Him and them. The qualities of God, love, justice, holiness, and faithfulness were reflected in these commandments, which were more than just a list of guidelines. Their special relationship with God was always brought to mind by the Ark, which also emphasized their status as a holy people, a kingdom of priests, and a prized country. Strict rules were put in place regarding the Ark because of its extreme holiness. Few people were permitted to get close to it, an extraordinary fragment of Middle Eastern history. Israeli researchers have discovered remnants of biblical script and other writings in a cave, in addition to the Dead Sea Scrolls. While some objects have religious significance, very few are as significant as the Ark of Covenant. Christians cherish it above other religious artifacts. Many scholars, historians, and archaeologists have been perplexed by its placement, despite its significant and influential role in religious history. But a recent find, made by experts in a small cave, is generating excitement because it might have the long-awaited, long-lost final piece of information that has been missing for thousands of years. What is the Ark of Covenant exactly? Where have scientists discovered it? And why does it matter? As we learn more and divulge all the information, stay tuned. The history of Judaism and Christianity is replete with mystery and curiosity around the Ark of the Covenant. It's a wooden chest coated in gold that holds the two stone tablets that Moses received from God on Mount Sinai that contain the Ten Commandments. According to Bible accounts, this hallowed item also preserved a pot of manna, which provided the Israelites with miraculous sustenance during their wilderness exodus, and Aaron's rod, a staff that bloomed to represent God's choice of Aaron to be the high priest. Beyond serving as a simple holding place for sacred artifacts, the Ark represented God's all-pervasiveness and authority over His people. The Bible tells of God speaking to Moses from between the two cherubim on the lid of the Ark, which is called the Mercy Seat. When carried by priests, it accompanied the Israelites into wars, which frequently resulted in their victory over opponents. The Jordan River's flow was stopped by the Ark, enabling entry into the Promised Land. Furthermore, its presence caused Jericho's defenses to collapse, opening the door for the city to be conquered. The covenant that God made with His people and their pledge to follow His commandments were symbolized by this Ark. Not only were the Ten Commandments guidelines for behavior toward God and other people, but they also represented God's essential qualities of love, justice, holiness, and fidelity. The Israelites were reminded of the existence of their chosen position as God's holy country, a kingdom of priests, and His prized possession. 
accessible but limited. The Ark could only be touched or approached by those who were authorized. God gave exact directions for building the Ark, which was made of sturdy acacia wood covered in pure gold to reflect God's grandeur. The dimensions of the Ark were 1.5 cubits broad, 1.5 cubits high, and 2.5 cubits long. Among its noteworthy characteristics were two golden cherubs facing each other on top of a corporate cover made entirely of solid gold and rim-bearing rods covered in gold. The Holy of Holies of the Jerusalem Temple housed the Ark. The reason behind the removal of the Ark is still unknown, but its relevance to both ancient Israelites and modern Christians lies in its function as a divine symbol that held artifacts with great historical and theological significance. The final mention of the Ark in the Bible is found in 2 Chronicles chapter 35, verse 3, which describes King Josiah's efforts to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. Regarding the destiny of the Ark of the Covenant, many hypotheses are circulating, but a few notable ones stand out. There is a theory that the Ark was destroyed in 586 BCE during the Babylonian conquest of Jerusalem. The Bible claims that the Babylonians took control of Jerusalem, demolished the temple, and stole priceless artifacts from it. Although some academics think the Ark was among the things the Babylonians either destroyed or took away, there is no proof that the Babylonians ever owned the Ark or recognized its importance. According to a different theory, King Josiah concealed the Ark before the temple's demolition. Certain Jewish customs and passages from the Bible, such as 2 Chronicles 35 3-5, allude to Josiah's vision of securing the Ark. Nevertheless, hard data to back up this assertion is still scarce. Another theory is offered by Ethiopian legend, which holds that the Ark was brought to Ethiopia by Menelik, the son of King Solomon and Queen Sheba, and is now purportedly kept safe in a temple in Aksum. Despite this myth, there is no historical or archaeological proof that Menelik existed or that the Ark was moved. A more theoretical version connects the Ark to France during the Crusades through the Knights Templar. A few sources believe that this enigmatic company transported the Ark from Jerusalem to France for safekeeping. However, there is no historical evidence to support these claims. One of the most fascinating and contentious hypotheses regarding the whereabouts of the Ark of the Covenant is that it is still concealed beneath Jerusalem's Temple Mount in a covered chamber. In keeping with this theory, the Temple priests kept the Ark hidden until it was destroyed in 586 BCE. Therefore, the Ark was never removed or destroyed by the Babylonians. The writings also suggest that no one else knew where the Ark was hidden, and that some of the priests who did so perished in the process. Some biblical verses that appear to suggest that the Ark was still in the temple at the time of its destruction lend credence to the hypothesis. Biblical verses like 2 Chronicles 35 4 allude to King Josiah's command to the Levites to move the Ark into the temple, indicating that it hadn't been there before. Furthermore, several passages from Jeremiah and Ezekiel suggest that God's brightness left the temple before its destruction, which has raised the possibility that the Ark either vanished or was hidden. Archaeological findings pointing to undiscovered tunnels and rooms beneath the Temple Mount provide credence to this notion. Tensions and altercations resulted from a group of Jewish radicals' effort in 1981 to blow up the Dome of the Rock, a Muslim shrine on the Temple Mount. They claimed to have found a tunnel that led to the chamber where the Ark was buried. Similarly, when Israel revealed an old tunnel close to the Western Wall in 1996, there were riots and fears that attempts would be made to reach the Ark or damage the Muslim building situated on top of it. A video purported to have proof of a hidden corridor beneath the Temple Mount that led to the Ark as early as 2007. Nevertheless, this idea is not without serious obstacles and detractors. Scholars reject this assertion, arguing that it is largely based on myths and conjecture, and point out the absence of trustworthy historical or literary evidence to support it. They mention several competing hypotheses on the location of the Ark. Given centuries of religious evolution without it, several academics wonder if its finding now would have any theological or political importance. Potential confrontations between Jews, Muslims and Christians over control of Jerusalem's sacred sites also give rise to concerns. In their hunt for the lost Ark of Covenant, some academics have, nevertheless, turned their attention elsewhere and examined the Dead Sea. But other researchers studying the Dead Sea Scrolls, among the most fascinating and enigmatic of the manuscripts, is the Copper Scroll, indicating a different path for where the Ark might be.
The 64 places where various pieces of gold and silver were buried or concealed are listed in the Copper Scroll, which is written on metal. According to some academics, the treasure referenced in this letter originated in the Jerusalem Temple. This paper suggests that the Ark might be somewhere in Jordan around the Dead Sea, especially close to Qumran, where the scrolls were found. Each notion offers a fascinating but elusive piece of the puzzle. In the hunt for this legendary relic, adding to the ongoing mystery regarding the whereabouts of the Ark. In conclusion, the unveiling of the Ark of the Covenant marks a pivotal moment in our understanding of ancient history and religious significance. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated.